we had multiple systems. So the from how it is we were found online through to how it was that the phone was answered through to how it was that the clients were actually looked after, everything was systemized, everything had a procedure for how to do it. So take us through what was important online. Uh, online, the most important thing was being on that page one position and making sure that the, the website was informative, uh, it had relevant content and it, may, and it resonated with the people. That was one of the most important ones. Um, from there, we found that uh, scripting inside the actual salon and the business so that when people called up, we knew what their questions were going to be. We could pre we could actually answer them before they even thought of them. So that then gave us a way to control how it was that we actually dealt with them. And what about systems within the salon processing and fulfilling those services? Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, for example, we had uh, if we had clients who didn't uh, return for whatever reason, um, we would have a raise the dead letter of uh, events that would go out. And we would also then have the ability to uh, either talk to them actually individually if we needed, or we also had the ability to go ahead and actually um, find out uh, through other sources if they were unhappy or if there was just other problems or if, we had, or if we could just get them back in. And what about systems to market to them after they'd been in? So the systems to market to them after they had been in was very, very simple. Uh, newsletter, always a monthly newsletter went out. And we also had uh, the Facebook updates. We made a lot, a lot of use of them in that time. And we also had, uh, every now and again, there'd be an email that would be shot out. Um, if there was a special offer, especially a special offer, um, sometimes we'd go through and we'd have an exclusive offer that would only be available and emailed out to certain people at a spe set specific time. Um, stating, for example, look, you know, there's going to be a special on, on Monday morning when the salon's closed. There'll be someone there at 9.30 to take calls. They, are, they leave at 10.30. So you have a window of opportunity of an hour. Now with all these systems in place, what, what importance was that in the uh, marketing and sale of the business? Uh, extremely important. So when we sold the business while we were in Canada, we actually had it so that the systems worked as long as we had the manager there just steering it. And so everything was followed the procedures. Uh, I suppose you'd call it wash, rinse, repeat. And the idea is that systemization gave the confidence to the consumer, the person who bought the business, to look at it and say, okay, everything's systemized, I just need to step in and take over and add my little personal touches. And what do you think that added to the business in terms of value? That added a lot of value, uh, primarily because the people who purchased the business could walk in, they could say, we know we're going to get uh, a response if we do a piece of marketing. Uh, so for example, if we do raise the dead, we know for example, we're gonna get sort of a 50 to 60% of those people back. If we run a, pa a paid ad in the local paper or the state paper as we prefer, we know for example, if we outlay X, Y, Z dollars, we're gonna get a 10 or 15 fold return on that. So when we could demonstrate that over time through the systems that we'd implemented. So this gave them the confidence to know that they're not buying just a business with run-of-the-mill daily problems, they're buying something that's highly systemised and functioning, and as I said, look, we sold it when we were living in Canada. And you're now helping our members put in place those systems, how are you helping them do that? Uh, so what we're doing, we're going through and just taking what it is they currently know, and then changing it around so that it then becomes more automated. Um, so as an example, we know that you know, there's some people who don't use templates or uh, who don't reach out to their clients all that often. So we want to we act actively encourage them to go ahead and actually reach out and make that point of contact, get their information, make sure they're frequently staying in contact with them, um, as an example. So what we're doing now is we're taking what it is that we've learned with the sale of our business and we're implementing that straight into other people's businesses. With what purpose? Setting them up for sale.